Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we've got an Aztec build for you. Well, it's inspired by an Aztec temple. I um, I made it actually a swimming pool lot on the inside and we've got a maze in there. But um, I have a list of build ideas on my computer which sit there for a very long time normally before I actually build them. And especially this idea. This idea has been here for ages. I thought, you know what? Today, I feel like making a temple. So I did. And uh, probably since then, and maybe even before I made that list, this already existed on YouTube. But I felt like putting my own twist on the idea. I It was one of those things of I thought, well, someone must have done this already. Maybe I haven't watched a video. I don't even remember. But anyway, um, I cut out quite a bit of this video just because a lot of it was repetitive you'll see because obviously we've got four sides and they're almost identical i mean the way that i do it is i use um the parts from get together and you know those sort of ruin parts so it's all sort of crumbly so it's it's different on each side but it's the same concept like you can understand what i'm doing like here for the rest of the build so you'll see that um when we sort of jump through the build possibly there's bits which are finished <laughs> which weren't before so um yeah i hope you guys like it i hope the editing is okay if i'm honest i think that for this build you're definitely gonna need to get together because otherwise this build's just not gonna work um the other builds i do i mean the other packs i do use the uh spa day pack I also use um, the vampire pack. You'll see here, I've done this before in another build. I did a um, Game of Thrones build, which was inspired um, by the new vampire pack. I did uh, Dragonstone, a castle, and I made it into a sort of vampire castle, even though you know it's a, it's a, um, a Game of Thrones castle. But at the front here, you see that I've used the gravestones and I've actually used them as the wall. I did that in the other build where I kind of built up this sort of hickledy pickledy wall at the front made out of stone. And uh, I've kind of copied that idea of mine again in this build. And I thought that actually when you put those gravestones in the same colour as the stone of the, um, the ruins that we've got, it kind of looks like, you know, sculptures that possibly... Like, we don't have an Aztec pack, so whatever I do, it's not going to be completely accurate. But I thought that maybe it looks a little bit closer, a little bit maybe. Um, but I just like the idea. And also in this lot, um, you need move objects on to place it. Because if you can see, I've been moving up and down the, um, the, the stones. I haven't actually tested it yet to see whether they all stay there. But from my experience of lots like this, where people use stones and move them up um, to create something, they tend to all drop down if you don't have move objects on before you, you place the build. So what you need to do is just go into the lot and then type in the cheat and then place it rather than placing it from the world. And it should be fine when you do that. It should be. <laughs> Hopefully anyway. Something that I noticed though, um, and this happened in some of my other builds as well, where sometimes when I go into live mode, you know the um, ivy that you get on the walls? Sometimes it just disappears. And it's like, I spent ages putting that up and now it's gone. <laughs> and I get really annoyed about it, but... Like, have any of you found that? Or is it just my game? Maybe, maybe in this one, because I had the ivy on the wall in the lot on sort of the middle floor, um, and then I did the maze below it. Maybe because I was building the rooms, it sort of reset them. I don't know, I'm trying to figure it out. But I tried to remember to put them back at the end. So um, hopefully by the time I do these screenshots, they'll all be there. <laughs> that I put in and I'll try and do them the same as in this video um but here I've got like a little um sculptory type thing at the top and I got those we've got some gravestones which are really similar to the ones which I put down below but they're kind of at a wonky angle so I kind of I tried to make sort of like a sort of crest crown type thing on the top of the build don't really know what that bit's called but I tried something um and I end up putting um, the 
sort of stone um i guess like it's like an archway kind of what are they called where they're sort of a semicircle i got that from the romantic garden pack i don't think that's necessary like you don't need it for this build but i have got a couple of items that are just decorational that the build's gonna work you know exactly the same and look practically the same without them i did try and limit the amount of packs that i used in this build because um in the past when i've been doing big builds i've gone all crazy with all the packs and wanting to you know use up every sort of available creative outlet that i can you know and um get it as close you know as i can or use loads and loads of different types of things but i tried to mainly stick it to get together and the vampire pack and a few spa day things so um hopefully <laughs> you guys can still use the the uh, lot if you have those items i think i think pretty much everything else um you don't you don't need any of the packs the only item which i used which i haven't actually used before was um these little candles they were like uh the christmas ones from the christmas download it's like a free pack which you get but um i've always like passed them off as oh they're so just really christmassy but there is a swatch on them where it's got um so the normal swatches are like red strips like red ribbons around them but you can get it as like a plain white ribbon or you know not a ribbon at all and at the bottom of them they have like all this grass and stuff so it looks like it looks well it looks so good for this lot you can't notice the ribbons that much and they do look like candles in amongst like little algae and leaves and things like that you know um so i used a lot of those in this in this pack but i mean in this build but that's a down that's a free download so um if you guys haven't got that then it's all right but if you see there i've got a sewing pool and i did i was gonna put um some swimming pools around on that level and i don't remember if i cut this out of the um the video but I was really struggling with it and it wasn't looking that great and um you'll see like the pointed edges they were like sticking out in weird like places and over the edge and it just didn't look good so I did want to incorporate some water on the outside um and I was originally gonna put like little waterfalls down here like my um Gardens of Babylon build but in the end I didn't I thought that um I'd put enough detail on the outside and I'd actually been really really puzzling because I met I started doing like the um oh after this I do like an overgrown kind of thing so I put a whole lot of like leaves and plants and things growing out of the rocks to make it look like a real ruin and I was wondering whether I'd spoiled it by doing that um hopefully not <laughs> but um yeah i think it did add some detail i mean it took away from the rocks a little bit you know these ruined bits um but i think it still looked okay hopefully i mean i always doubt myself when it comes to my builds but um hopefully i did all right you'll see that i'm just rotating the uh gray stones it's just because they've got like different patterns of the cracks and um markings on them so it just makes it look as though you know you haven't got the same one duplicated that possibly there might be different ones even though they're not we know they're not they're just the same thing but <laughs> just you know to to make it not look as formal i guess and more like a ruin but you'll see there i'm doing this side and i've actually done the pretty much the entire rest of the build or at least you won't be able to see a lot of it um just for this end bit i've just um you know got all these parts and i'm copying them instead just to make it a bit quicker so if you guys are ever using um parts which you're using over and over again maybe you've got like a steampunk build and you're lo using loads of stuff from the get to work um like the science career items or whatever you might be using if you put them all out and you're using them over and over again you can just copy them and layer them up um it took me until this part to do that so <laughs> for the beginning i wasn't doing that and it was taking me forever but um i was i was just sitting there watching some streams enjoying you know spending time um in the sims community 
watching a couple of sims videos but mostly streams um i like watching streams i've i go through phases of what i watch sometimes it's like i only watch sims but other times i watch like creative stuff and music and artwork and stuff like that i do think it's a lot of fun i mean rarely do i watch other games sometimes i do i guess but it's, it tends to be like stardew valley or something like that um or if someone like a creator which I really love is streaming a game which um you know that I don't normally watch then I'll watch it then because more for them rather than the game you know don't know if any of you guys do that do you ever do that with like YouTube videos as well that you just like the person so you watch them playing instead of you know even though you're not really interested in the game but you're interested in them I do that sometimes but yeah, we're getting on to the end of the construction of this build. And uh, yeah, we'll get to... I think I don't do the, like, um, overgrownness. I don't know what the term for that would be. Straight away. I think I do go inside. But we'll have to see. We'll have to see what I do. Um, but you'll get a break from me putting stones everywhere. <laughs> Yeah, it's it's one of these things, I don't know how much to cut out, I don't know how much you guys would want to see and where you sort of, like, it's like, yeah, I get the pitch with this so you don't need to show anymore, you know? Um, oh yeah, I just put these little, because the um, the walling, I guess this fencing um, didn't match up at the ends, um, I just put these little stone plinths, or whatever they might be, um, I did think about putting them at the entrance, uh, entrances, but yeah, this is me playing around with the pools and it not working. But um, I did try and maybe do it at the entrances where the, the steps are, but I actually thought that it looked more um, sort of like a ruin when it wasn't as polished. I thought it looked better, like it had broken away there. That was my idea, or you know, my thought behind it anyway. But yeah, this is me trying to get rid of the um, pulls, but not actually damaging the rest of my build, which was a struggle. But I think I got there. <laughs> um, because, like, moving, you know, with the arrows, it moved all of the stones around it. So you'll see here that I put some pulls up here. And this isn't realistic, but it's something I wanted to do. So I did. Um, but when I was actually mm, uh, making this build, my boyfriend asked me, about the steps and he asked me how many steps there were and apparently if you I think it was a 64 he said um but they have 64 steps on each side so that they can count the years um or the year with the days but um yeah I I did count them and I think there's something like 42 or something on each side but I thought you know what I've done so much of this already I'm not going to be able to put a floor below so I'm just going to leave it <laughs> but it's a fun fact for you guys if you I don't know whether it's possible for us to have that many steps maybe if you were able to put in some sort of foundation or something like that maybe you guys could do it but if you were ever making an Aztec temple then maybe you can try and get there to be 64 steps like the originals um but yeah and in here this is supposed to be sort of like maybe like a rock pool a natural kind of pool that you sort of swim to different areas and it was it's it's kind of tricky to decorate this kind of stuff because it is it's not something that would be in real life you know it would it, it's a bit it is a bit out there and it is a bit as abstract for an idea so um in terms of you know making it realistic so I was unsure on what I was actually doing. So I tried. I put like little, um, I used the um, yoga mats from Spa Day so that they were kind of like beach towels. And I put a little bar in here and things like that um, and little seating areas and stuff like that. Um, but I thought that maybe your sims, if they wanted to go swimming, maybe this was an alternative lot to like a gym or something like that where you could just you know come swimming in natural pools and i was doing the maze below as well i'm unsure i put the snail thing that we've got in the get together um uh is it the chalet or something i don't know but that lot where you've got the maze on there and you click on the snail and then you're able to run around the nail the the maze sorry um i put that 
item in here. I don't know whether it's going to work and whether you're going to be able to have your sims run around the maze like it was a real maze. But in the centre of the maze, you'll see later, um, I've actually got a little coffin in there. And I thought that maybe it could be, you know, like the the someone who lived here or you know something like that i was thinking more like an egyptian temple to be honest um i don't know whether they do that in aztec um temples whether they have you know the 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 royalty in there but um i just thought it'd be a fun thing to do you know i was inspired by lots of different places so this isn't supposed to be exact but that's what i put in the middle and uh i thought that you know if 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 it does, worse does come to worse, at least you can maybe use that as a bed if your sim was tired. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, they, they would be able, if you were able to make it round the maze. And you'll see when I build it, maybe you guys can see the way that I make, because I, I think I do it in a confusing way when I'm building it. Um, but hopefully you guys can, maybe you will able to see a way to get to the middle. I mean, the easiest way to do it We'll get into the sims to do it yourself um, because you can just click on an item in there and the sims will run the way that they need to get there so um yeah but don't you know if, it, if you're not using the maze and doing it as them running around and stuff so you could cheat but you could try and figure it out yourself maybe i'll leave a screenshot at the end of the maze and maybe you guys can figure out the way to get through i don't know let me know if you want to see that maybe i'll put it in the uh, description or i think i'll put it in the in the screenshots anyway just um you know a picture of it and you guys can pause the video if you want to and have a look but you'll see now i'm putting in sort of grass and um leaves and vines and all sorts of things and i'm just moving if you're wondering how i move up the objects um i press the nine key with move objects cheat on and um for my i I don't think this happens for all computers, but we've also got the, um, from five to zero, they're the, um, sort of default things for the camera mode. Um, so if you're ever taking screenshots, you can sort of save the individual views, you know, and do the panoramic shots from thing to thing based on the numbers from five to, uh, zero. So that does mean that, um, the nine key is used for that. So sometimes the camera jumps away because it's, you know, it's set as a, um, a, a place instead of, you know, being like a normal thing. So, uh, what I do is I press the control key whilst pressing the nine key and it tends to work i'm not very good at explaining these things but possibly if i was able to show you pictures i could uh <laughs> let you know what that what i'm on about but i hope you got what i was saying and also that um vampire pack thing uh what are they called it was like um almost like a gargoyle i don't even remember us having that i swear sometimes like i get packs and i feel like i've gone through the entire pack and looked at all the different items and then like a couple of weeks later there's like new hairstyles and new items that I had no idea about and I had no idea we'd even got them and it's like well where did you come from and apparently I've seen them you know quite a lot of the time it's they're not sometimes they've got the new icon which I you know I would then say oh yeah okay so I haven't I, I just missed that one but sometimes apparently I've seen them so my memory must just be terrible <laughs> I don't know do you guys ever get that um sometimes I wonder whether the the sims just give us like sneaky items and don't really tell us about it well maybe maybe i'm just projecting <laughs> i don't know um but you'll see it's sort of starting to build up um it takes less focus away from the individual rocks i think but possibly brings the focus more on the whole build itself i don't know it kind of ties it maybe together it's difficult to it i think it ties the water features with the rest of the build maybe because it looks like maybe some of it is is flooded Something I really struggled with though is the landscaping because I didn't really know how to do it. I hadn't thought that far. So um, you'll see later. I think I cut out some of it, but I was like trying to make like a forest behind like my elven forest build and trying to make it a little bit like that, but that didn't look right. Um, and then I was like trying to 
scatter trees around and it just it wasn't really working in the end I I sort of lessened the amount of trees that I was putting down and only put down a few and then I put sort of like a winding path in between or tried to but kind of tried to blend it into like the stone which I'd put around anyway so I don't know hopefully it turned out well but um something I will say about this lot is if you want to put it on a 50 by 50 it will probably work it will just mean that you'll lose some of the trees around it so if you like are able to go into the lot itself and move around the um thing that you've got from the library you know um you can probably fit it on a 50 by 50 um, but it would just be to the very edges. I started building it in here because I wasn't sure how big I was going to make it. Um, but yeah, it probably would fit on a 50 by 50. But I thought this lot was pretty good for it anyway. It kind of, it was, because we've got like the forest, um, the other 64 by 64 lot, which is kind of like got that forest behind it. But it's more like, it's not really a tropical forest, you know what I mean? Um, whereas this one, it could kind of be from somewhere like where this is from you know it could be um but in the pool here I like doing this sometimes especially when it's um sort of underground uh pools and that kind of thing like I've done in some of my previous builds I like using the little floating flowers from the get to work pack like the alien stuff which is in the BB move like uh, BB dot show hidden objects that cheap and I like using that sometimes um, and just putting them in the bottom I think it looks really really cool but of course that's another item that if you don't have get to work doesn't matter you can still use that um use this lot it just means that you won't have like little floating glowing flowers in the pool which you know isn't necessary anyway i don't know because sometimes it replaces objects like with other ones that we've got so i don't know what it would do like would it maybe it would replace it with like normal flowers i think that would look pretty weird um i wonder which ones it would replace it with it's quite interesting actually I kind of want to uninstall, <laughs> get get to work to see what it does. And I remember um, people saying before when they've used the uh, stones from the what what pack is it called again? Uh, Outdoor retreat, I think that that's what it's called. The stone stools and chairs and tables from there um and used it as sort of a landscaping technique and she's and like people have seen it where they've um taken screenshots when they haven't got that downloaded and it's just a load of random chairs like in various sizes all like moved around and like tables and things and it looks ridiculous i've seen pictures of it um yeah it's it's silly it's silly um but maybe that will happen with this. I'm not sure what the ruins themselves would be replaced with. That would be an interesting thing. Because they're, they're a decorational item. I put in these little flower things. Um, they, I did have a pro I I wasn't entirely happy with them. Because they were so bright. They looked like they'd been freshly painted. Whereas if it was like real it would be like faded. But I liked the idea of it anyway. I thought that it sort of added something to it um, and gave it more of, you know, an Aztec feel. Even though I don't know much about it. But um, yeah, so we're moving on to some of the landscaping now. So um, this is one, probably one of my favourite um, techniques for doing sort of stone pathways and stuff, especially when it's in old places. And it works really well for this because. I've got the um, the same stone from Get Together um, on the walls and on the floors, but we've got the terrain um, paint in the same one. And we have it in two types. So one where it's like fully, um, you know, just the, the stones, and another one we've got grass growing over some of it. And what you can do is they actually line up perfectly. Mm -hmm. So if you lightly put down the solid one and then lightly put over, so like if you put it on the, the softest version and then just do little clicks everywhere, you can get it to sort of fade in and out. And it actually looks as though the grass has grown over it in places rather than it's like, because I find with some of the other stone things it sort of fades away and that's not realistic like the grass would grow over it in places more than others so that's kind of what I do with it um 
but I've done that in a lot of videos before so I'm sure you guys can figure it out if you've watched some of my other videos but um, you'll see I put in some of those trees and stuff off camera and I did the plants because I wasn't sure whether I was going to keep this to be honest I tried so many things on camera I was like okay I'll try some stuff off camera and see whether I like it and then if I've got you know part way I can just you know show some of it so that's what I did um, and I've put in some more so I'm trying to get like a solid path but you'll see here that it's now really difficult to blend it in and I actually have to use the um, eraser tool to sort of fade some of it away because it just comes over too strong so using the soft one is really important I mean I couldn't get it strong and as strong as I liked because um I wanted there to be like a path which was more definite in certain places um so I did that's the reason why I did it but you'll see from that that's why you have to have it on the softest thing because otherwise it's just not going to work and it will just look weird but yeah this is just this is what I, I was talking about before with the romantic garden stuff so we've just got a, a few decorations um I was going to put up those cobwebs but I thought you know not everyone has a Halloween pack so that wouldn't be fair um and so I've just put in some more of these and some cobwebs from the vampire pack and things like that. Um, I think the central uh, water feature there is from the uh, romantic garden stuff. But again, with that, you don't really need it. Um, it's definitely something that, you know, you've got the other fountains there if you've got the vampire pack. So it does work. With the bar, I had no idea what bar to use because so many of them are so modern and you know so polished and I mean I was thinking of maybe using the ones from get together that were like um the movable ones but it didn't I tried it off camera and it just didn't look right so I used this and I know that you know it doesn't fit in here either but I thought you know it's it's got carvings on it it's it's the closest thing to something that may be in this lot that I can think of so I know it's not really the right thing to put in here but I tried <laughs> I know it's not quite the right thing oh <sighs> but anyway um I've actually got a new idea for a build series I'll talk to you guys about it now um but you'll probably see some builds coming out soon about it but um I was looking at my 10k build challenge and I was thinking about all the starter homes I've done and I thought Actually, when I was building something the other day, or when I was actually playing, I think it was for my live stream Let's Play, and I was thinking to myself, you know, sometimes, you know, people, I feel like I've built loads of houses, which are like extortionate amount of money, and actually when I go to play, I can't afford any of those houses if I'm playing it properly, but I still want a nice house, so what ends up happening is I tend to find other people's builds and maybe redecorate them on the inside or just something like that um sometimes i just use the ea built ones because they've got the standard prices you know they work <laughs> and they're probably not you know to my taste completely um but i use them because they're just easier and i was thinking to myself actually do you know what might be a cool thing to do is do houses in different price brackets so as your sims are going through the game and when they've got you know maybe different amounts of kids and different amounts of money coming in and things like that they because I feel like we've got start homes and then we've got expensive homes and maybe there's a lot of people which do mid-range houses already but I thought what I'd do is I do I've already got a 10k house I might do a 20k one I'm not sure but it's kind of like a a starter home I've got quite a lot of starter homes but I could make one anyway again for this series um I could do a 30 like and then go up so like 30 40 50k 60k 70k 80k you know and then going on for as long as I feel like it until it gets about I think I'd stop at 100 because at that point it starts to get into the territory of um you know houses which everyone can have you know the the ones that most people put on youtube anyway and maybe it will be when i get to houses which are that high in price that i actually make them have lots more rooms so that when you've got a really really big family it's still you know 
it's cheap for the amount of space you're getting you know that kind of thing so that's what I was thinking um and I might limit myself to the price bracket so that we can maybe it'll be it'll also be useful for me so when I'm playing I can be like okay so my sims have this much money now I want to move them out and get them into a nicer place so I'm gonna move I they have 30,000 so I'll move them into the 30,000 house you know so that's what I was thinking and they'll probably be um I'll probably focus mostly on the outside of the houses so they look nice on the outside. Um, I will still try and make them obviously look nice on the inside, but um, sometimes with my builds, I make them very personal to certain characters, like the different rooms, and I imagine people that might live there. And, um, you know, so I may, may make, like, a rebel teen room or, you know, a fairy princess room or something like that. I think what I'll do is, like, the bedrooms, I'll try and keep them sort of, like, universal. So you can imagine any sim moving in there and maybe, you know, just changing a couple of the swatches and then it will be, you know, exactly right for certain sims. I think that's what I'll do. Um, so that I want to build because I I do build things like this which are kind of out there but I want to build stuff that like I would use and possibly you guys would use as well you know things that you know we actually might use in the game <laughs> instead of I guess these like I love making community lots they're probably my favorite thing to build but it is one of those things where um you only use them every once in a while. They're not something that you play in every single part or every single day that you play The Sims. They're something that like is a nice treat to go and visit, but they're not, you know, what your Sims actually sort of grow up in and live in over the generations and things like that. And I wanna, I wanna make a few things like that um, that I can use for my own Sims, but also you guys can use for yours too. So that's my idea. But I've been building this maze. Have you kept track of where it is to go to the center? Or are you, who's, 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 who's still kept track? Who, or who's modeled? The only thing that I had with this, which was a real struggle, was that um, sometimes I have this thing in my game where it doesn't build a wall or it doesn't paint over a certain wall area. So you can imagine when doing this, that was a huge struggle. So sometimes I had to build the same wall six or seven times and it wouldn't come up and it's especially when I'm doing things like this I mean I don't do things like this often but it, it, it's like on some of this it's like seriously I just want to build a wall <laughs> but yeah it's it, yeah it's not it's not the best but you'll probably see on this that I have repeated over some parts several times but I actually sped up this part of the build because it was slower because the game wasn't handling it very well building all of these walls i think it was because of like is this a room is this not a room how what parts are a room and what's not a room you know the game was getting a bit confused but um i think that it's fine to actually play them because i've already been on a lot um i can give it a full test when i'm doing the screenshots but um yeah it's it should be fine it's it's not um it's not really that much of a problem it was just with building it um the game wasn't having a good time but i also cut out some of me painting the walls because i thought that would be boring for you guys so you just saw a little bit um but yeah <laughs> i thought that would be really boring but here we've got that bit in the center so this is the bit which you would get to and if you've got a kleptomaniac sim this will be a gold mine so literally because we've got stacks of gold down here um so i think kleptos would be able to steal them i'm not sure but you'll see those are the candles i was talking about earlier and we've got these gold bars and i try and make it look like really over the top um but it would have been good if we had like i know we don't have this in the game but it would have been really cool if we had like scattered coins on the floor maybe we had that as a debug item and i didn't realize but um yeah like scattered coins because we do have like notes and like bags of money and stuff like that but that's not going to really work in here it needed to be sort of more old-fashioned things so i tried to use sort of these um vases or maybe the urns or whatever they might be um because they were gold pretty much 
and yeah I try to I I try <laughs> I try and make this look like somewhere which you might want to go to but really I think the pr real prize is the coffin because you'd be able to sleep if you've got sleepy sims and maybe you'll find some of your sims down here um, every now and again when they've gone them when they're really tired although they may collapse on the way there because it is a long way it is a long way maybe I'm revealing which um, direction you need to go <laughs> to get here but it is a long way around to get to the center I found it really fun actually making the maze um it was kind of spontaneous uh, I didn't plan it out beforehand but it was it was really fun and I think actually if you were building a maze um doing it in the sims is a good way of doing it I think it's possibly easier I guess it's the same as drawing it on grid paper I'm mean, really but um you get more of an effect but I thought at first I wanted to make it completely dark, but in the end I put in a few lamps so that it sort of made it a little bit more eerie. But we're coming to the end, uh, stay tuned for the screenshots, but thank you guys so much for watching and hopefully see you again soon.